And welcome. We start with a short lived spring warm up. Temperatures climbing across parts of Northern California, as you've noticed today, right? But the heat and the dry conditions leading to concerns about fire danger and a new call for a shifting strategy. Thanks for joining us today here at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. Researchers say fire season has been getting worse with the numbers of acres burned nearing levels not seen since before the 1800s. And just over 9,900 wildfires burned about 4.3 million acres in 2020. That's more than twice the previous record. And now some experts say when it comes to forest fires, it's time to let them burn. For more than a century, forest management has centered around suppressing fire and limiting areas burned. But a new UC Davis study says that has to change. We know it's going to happen. We, The last five years have made it really clear that all of our investments in reducing burned area aren't really doing a whole lot of good. Hugh Safford was part of the study. He says the majority of forest fires are put out before they reach 200 acres. That's what we call fire suppression. And that's been sort of the law, law of the land for the last, you know, 100 years. 120 years. The study says that approach allows fuel like leaves and grass to accumulate, making a catastrophic fire more likely. Researchers argue the focus should be on limiting the severity of fires and damage to people and property. That means a shift in strategies to allow more forest fires to burn. That's part of what we're saying, absolutely, under the right conditions. Controlled burns are already part of the solution, but according to the study, they're not enough. We've got to get to the point where we're burning hundreds of thousands of acres in controlled fires every year. And right now, the agencies aren't ready for it. Safford says 60 to 80 percent of California forest land has excess fuel because of centuries of fire suppression. He warns if that fuel isn't allowed to burn a little, it's highly likely it'll burn a lot. Are we just going to give up on the forest in those places? And I think the answer is we can't. Now, when, where, and how long to let forest fires burn depends on the climate, right? The ecology of the burn area and how close it is to populated areas. As Cal Fire and the Forest Service gear up for another fire season, uh, there's more concern this year about Northern California than other parts of the state, even though our region saw more rainfall. So why is that? We're getting answers. It has to do with this, the grass. Experts say the extra rain wasn't enough to damper the fire dangers, but it was enough to help grow the brush that fuels fires, right? Makes sense. In Southern California, it was so dry that those grasses couldn't grow at all or as tall. And the region hasn't seen a major grass fire so far. 